Nancy Page's legacy is left in the form of Crystal. I have a brother who's a Broadway producer, so I said this is like a nursing Tony. Upstate Hospital earning the most prestigious award for nursing excellence is the milestone Page is using to end her career. The self-proclaimed New York City girl graduated from SUNY Downstate, moved to Syracuse and found a job at SUNY Upstate. She'll never forget caring for a boy whose heart was failing from violent abuse at home. We really felt like he was starting to go up to heaven, could see everybody resuscitating him, but then he came back. It wasn't his time. So to hear that story from, he was seven, seven. I, I, still, I still remember that, still remember that. After almost 40 years, she thought she'd seen it all and considered retiring. Then coronavirus hit. She knew her 3,000 staff members needed her. So did their 186 infected patients at the height of the second wave. I remember that, Mark. It was like if we get over 200 and you just kind of stopped yourself there. It was, but we got to think about the now. We got to think about the now. We got to think about today. Let's get to tomorrow. Tomorrow came and so did the vaccine. Page gave the region's first shot, a moment memorialized in poster form. It won't be her last shot. In retirement, she's offering to volunteer for Onondaga County to get everyone vaccinated. But nursing on her own schedule allows more time with her adult children and grandchildren, which is the only thing pulling her away from a career she adores. Having had the pleasure of leading this huge nursing workforce, um, truly, truly was a gift, truly was a gift I never saw coming my way. As her nurses showed, Nancy Page was the gift. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.